I put my ear to the f door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the f was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against cheeks. Has Diddy's mentorship crossed the line into something more with Justin Bieber? Let's find out. Recently, Justin Bieber has been caught up in controversy, and it's not just about his music. Disturbing footage and rumors are around his intentions with the industry mogul Diddy. Allegations have surfaced suggesting that Diddy used Justin for his own pleasure and he didn't stop there. He reportedly allowed his friends to do the same. This isn't the first time we've heard such unsettling news about Diddy. Remember the raid on his homes a few weeks ago? Since then, a dozen videos involving Justin Bieber have popped up, questioning Diddy's mentorship style. The plot thickens with Meek Mill's recent meltdown on Twitter. He denied being another one of Diddy's so-called boy toys, but the chatter hasn't died down yet. As these stories unfold, more young men have reportedly fled from their encounters with Diddy and his circle, adding to the cloud of suspicion. Last year's lawsuit by Cassie really threw open the doors to a lot of shady revelations about Diddy. At first, many thought the rumors about what Justin Bieber went through while hanging out with Diddy were just exaggerations, but now, with all the details spilling out, you have to wonder if there was something deeply unsettling going on. Jaguar Wright didn't hold back in her recent explosive interview with Storm Monroe, where she claimed that Diddy's interactions with Justin Bieber represent a troubling trend. According to her, Diddy has exploited not just Justin, but also other young male artists looking to break into the music industry. The conversation took a deeper dive when Jaguar discussed a particular piece of footage involving Justin Bieber, Odell Beckham, and Trey Songz that has raised many eyebrows. It seems Justin was caught in a very compromising situation, and it wasn't just a wild party scene as some might want to downplay it. Jaguar pointed out a specific instance that appeared to show Justin in an act that was far from innocent, with Trey Songz allegedly keeping watch. This wasn't about Justin experimenting with substances, which would be worrying enough. Jaguar insisted it was something more manipulative. Trey Songz actively made sure no one could see or capture what was happening. Seems off, doesn't it? When Justin emerged, according to Jaguar, he wasn't just brushing off drug residue, it was something more troubling. She described how Justin wiped his mouth, suggesting he was trying to erase evidence of something more than just drug use. Recently, a video surfaced showing Diddy promising Justin Bieber a Lamborghini and a house during what was supposed to be a 48-hour mentorship session. Given everything that's come to light about Diddy since then, it's hard not to feel a shiver, thinking about what might really have been going on during that time. And guess what? Not long after Justin got his driver's license, he was seen driving around in a Lamborghini, much like the one Diddy had promised in the video. Why, though, would Diddy give such an extravagant car to Justin right out of the blue? Some folks speculate it was typical sugar daddy behavior, giving lavish gifts in exchange for favors. In a video, Justin was seen visibly nervous, stumbling over his words as he talks to Diddy. The backstory? Allegedly, Justin's team had been keeping him away from Diddy for a while. They were concerned about the negative influence Diddy had on Justin's mental and physical health. When Diddy finally got a hold of Justin again, it was clear things were awkward. Another major clue that went overlooked for too long is how Justin's behavior changed after he started hanging out with Diddy. He began to dabble in alcohol and other substances. Back in 2014, at Diddy's famous pyro party, Justin Bieber was seen clutching a bottle labeled Aqua Hydrate, typically filled with clear liquid. However, a closer look revealed the contents were suspiciously yellow. Could it have been alcohol or something else entirely? Justin later reflected on those times, admitting he was struggling with feelings of hurt, confusion, and anger, and even feeling let down by God. On the outside, he seemed to be living the dream during the peak of his career, but internally, he was battling serious turmoil. Diddy wasn't the sole contributor to Justin's difficulties. Entering the industry at a young age, Justin was vulnerable and lacked proper guidance. It wasn't long before he found himself being manipulated and objectified by nearly everyone, from fellow artists to media personalities. Everyone seemed eager to get a piece of him, regardless of whether he was ready to give it or not. For instance, during a show, Ellen DeGeneres once displayed an intrusive paparazzi photo of Justin and bombarded him with questions about his awareness of the paparazzi. Caught off guard, Justin admitted he hadn't noticed them. 
Justin's experiences at the 2012 American Music Awards with 40-year-old Jenny McCarthy was no less troubling. McCarthy's overfamiliar behavior led to a visibly uncomfortable moment for 18-year-old Justin, who had to physically distance himself from her. At just 15, Justin faced another inappropriate ordeal when an interviewer boldly asked him adult-oriented questions, forcing Justin to question the appropriateness. And then there's Katy Perry whose forward behavior during an interaction also spotlighted the challenges Justin faced from those around him. Justin Bieber's mother, Patty Mallett, prayed that he would meet good people who would guide him wisely. When Usher and Scooter Braun stepped into the picture, she thought her prayers had been answered. Usher didn't just stand by, he took Justin under his wing, acting as his mentor. He even brought Ryan Good on board to serve as Justin's road manager and swagger coach. Sounds like a solid team, right? But despite these seemingly supportive moves, the expected protection didn't always pan out. Patty, Justin Bieber's mom, once shared that her son's fame skyrocketed, she felt her influence over him slipping away. She knew he needed someone to keep him grounded, but the reality of their situation meant she couldn't always be by his side, especially during tours. Diddy claimed he had legal guardianship of Usher while he was producing his first album. Usher even moved to New York to live with Diddy at the so-called Puffy Flavor Camp. Sounds cool, right? However, John Deal suggested that Usher's experiences were anything but beneficial, drawing parallels to the issues Cassie faced with Diddy. John described a concerning environment around Diddy, one that he claims Justin Bieber was also drawn into. John didn't hold back when he spoke about the darker sides of Diddy's influence. For example, he recalled a time at the Swiss Hotel, where Diddy, in the presence of other women, engaged openly in intimate acts. Usher, young and perhaps impressionable, was exposed to these situations, which John detailed to emphasize how uncomfortable it likely made Usher feel. The complexity increases when you learn that Usher and Diddy sometimes shared the same bed. Diddy might just brush this off as showing a brotherly bond, but given Usher's young age at the time, it really makes you question the appropriateness of such closeness. Other documents from a court case involving Lil Rod shed light on Diddy's relationships with other artists. When Usher talked to Howard Stern, he was very careful with his words, likely trying to maintain his image or protect himself from dredging up painful memories. This cautious speech could well be his way of shielding himself from further scrutiny. But it's not just Usher caught here. Meek Mill, another artist linked with Diddy, has shown some erratic online behavior when confronted with rumors about their closeness. Jaguar Wright claimed Diddy was very generous with his affections, hinting at a personal relationship with Meek Mill. Her comments suggest that their relationship was beyond the professional. Jaguar also mentioned that Meek was overwhelmed not just by Diddy, but by other influential figures like Will and Jada Smith. She noted that some young men found the environment at the Smiths' home too intense. Unlike August Alsina, who stayed because he needed the support. Given Diddy's influence, could he have facilitated such intense mentorship experiences? Well, it's not hard to imagine, especially with the networking that the industry has. Photos and videos have surfaced, fueling speculation about Meek and Diddy's relationship. For instance, an image of them in matching pajamas and a video where Diddy affectionately calls Meek Daddy certainly raises questions about their bond. Meek Mill has been vocal in defending his sexuality amid these rumors. He embarked on a Twitter spree, affirming his attraction to women and humorously dismissing the speculation. His tweets also criticize certain fashion choices he associates with his peers, clearly trying to distance himself from the rumors. This discussion goes beyond personal rumors to touch on broader issues of how the media portrays hip-hop artists. Meek has suggested there's a concerted effort to disrupt the hip-hop community by casting artists in a negative light, particularly timing these rumors with music releases. His silence on certain aspects, however, leaves room for further speculation about the true depth of his relationships within the industry. So what do you think about the claims against Diddy and his influence on young artists like Justin Bieber? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates.